What is going on, all you fellow gamers? It is just Jay here, bringing a brand new video, and this is gonna be a real quick, short video. Something that I wanted to show you guys, uh, real quick, and it's Windows 10 based tech tip, whatever you want to call it. If any of you are running a computer and you um, are having an issue with Windows 10, and this is something that I came across. And I wanted to bring this information and share with you. Now, as you can see, uh, I've got a bunch of BS up on my screen. And this is only simply to show you that I have a lots of things running. Now, I do have two monitors, and unfortunately, I can't record them both at the same time. But I do have two monitors, so whenever I'm working, it's much more organized and, and to do. But I just wanted to show you guys this. So, for instance, as you can see here, I'm running free YouTube DMP3 Converter, which is a music downloading program from... For you download music from internet or from YouTube, basically, since the name. I'm running my task manager. I'm running Adobe After Effects, and as you can see, I just accidentally clicked the, the Xbox thing, which is not something I meant to do. But I'm running my task manager so that you guys can see everything that's being ran and hogged and everything, so on and so forth. So as you can see, After Effects is hogging a lot of my memory right now. Almost 50% of my memory is being dedicated towards After Effects. Now this was becoming an issue because I was working on an edit and I wanted to uh, render and do things all at the same time. All the while, I'm playing Clash of Clans at the same time, which I just recently got kicked. And I have iTunes up and running, which you can't see, but it is up and running uh, right here. You can see it on my screen. I don't know. I don't really need it, but it is up and running. And also this voice software I use now instead of Skype, which is called Curse, is something that I use. Now, here was the issue is I had Google Chrome open right here. And as you can see, uh, it's on a YouTube so on so forth. Hang on. Let me skip this just for, uh, yeah, uh, just for the sake of it. Now, I'm listening to this web page that I use now so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pause this music here and I'm going to this is the new Microsoft Edge thing now what I wanted to show you guys right quick is that my task manager here where did it go oh right here okay right now I'm currently at 34% CPU I'm at 44% memory now this is going to change very drastically very quickly and the one thing that does this and it's not my video recording software doing this because as you can see nothing's changing the numbers are kinda dropping if anything whilst I'm recording at the same time simply what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Google Chrome and I'm gonna hit the play button now let's turn this down just a tad so it doesn't overwhelm me. But you can still see that it's playing here in a sense that it's uh, in the background running. The moves are moving. Now as you look at my CPU usage, is at 54%. Now this was becoming a real big problem for me seeing as how I'm running a very CPU savvy uh, program here. And let's go ahead and reset this and try it again. As we're seeing, we're doing it again. We're analyzing it, says so on the screen. It's using a lot of my CPU right now to analyze this file, which is what I'm trying to do, and uh, do some motion tracking and things like that, but that's what I'm trying to do. Now we're going to go back to the task manager, and we're going to show you right here. As you can see, my computer's almost crashing. 98% CPU usage. This is a very bad number. You don't want to do this. This is not something you want to run consistently at this high volume. A lot of people are having troubles with Windows 10 and it doing this. I don't know if it just recently was something that popped up and happened or if it's something that's been going on for a while, but there's several easy fixes for this. First and foremost, Google Chrome. Get rid of it. It's, it's a great browser. It's great for listening to things and things like that but it uses a lot of your CPU up. Now as you can see I've paused this we no longer are using Google Chrome at any way to download anything, do anything we're going to go back to the task manager, you see my CPU is just slowly but surely dropping it's going down now, I'm still at a very high usage on CPU because like I said I'm analyzing in the background, this is a computer very very processor and RAM savvy program and what I'm doing is using a lot of space now if I was to cancel this as you can see right now we're at 90 percent CPU now if I cancel this cancel and I go ahead and hit my task you see it dropped 50 percent oh my all the way back down to 20 percent and this is simply because I turned off my Google Chrome as you can see it's at zero percent right now it's not using anything anymore um, all my other things in the background are still running and causing this so now what I've seen is the solution to this is to start using the U, the new uh, Microsoft Edge browser I believe this is like I had stated previously in a video I was working on it's similar to a mobile version 
of a browser, but it works really well. It's great for all the benefits that it has and things that, that it offers, but I'm not even going to go into that. But we're just going to go ahead and use that to play our music, and we're going to go ahead and check out our CPU usage. This is Microsoft Edge right here. The same exact music that I was listening to on Google Chrome was taking me 30% of my CPU. 30%, which is what I'm using right now all across the board. So if you're using uh, Google Chrome, be aware that it does take up a lot of your CPU. This is just kind of a tech tip, something for you to take in mind and keep in mind. I know that some people were wanting to know some things about Windows 10 and some updates and preferences and things like that with Windows 10 because it is very new and it's still updating and lots of things are changing. But that's just one solution I found. I hope you guys found that this information was helpful for you. It may You may not even notice it until you actually look at it, but take a look at it, check it, because I would hate to see some of you guys running nice, expensive gaming computers and something like this happen to it. Now, as the reason I'm saying this is because I'm running an i3 right now, which is a very low-end processor, but I'm running extensive amounts of RAM, 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm using a very high-end video card, and it's still causing me CPU problems. Now, you could say fix this, the i3, get an i7. I'm already working on that. Something we're going into, but I still think that Google Chrome is going to use 30% of CPU regardless. That number shouldn't change based off of the type of CPU you have, it's still going to use a percentage of it, unless you have multiple cores, which is something we're not even going to go into. But, like I said, just a little tip, something that will help you guys out. If you're using Google Chrome, make sure you, you pause it, cancel it, close it out, do whatever. Uh, use this new Microsoft Edge. It works really well for what you're trying to do. One thing I'm going to show you guys or try and work on is getting an ad block for it. It's something that I want to try for my browser purposes but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't already make sure you subscribe share and like this video so your friends can take this tip and help them out I hate to see people with blue screens because it's something that i really don't like to fix but if you do uh, use this tip i guarantee you it'll help you a little bit not to get to that cpu major usage but like i said make sure you subscribe share with your friends so that they can have this tip as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video